All right, this is my latest creation here that uh, I've named Penny. And a bunch of you have uh, watched a bunch of my videos and seen Maggie. And Maggie was a device that worked off a spinning magnet and made her eyes go. And I used her in many, many, many experiments and many videos. And uh, that's been a very, very good tool, learning tool, that uh, just worked out great. And Penny was designed the same way. And the reason I'm calling her Penny is because she works off a penny battery. That's the, the two pennies. The one is sanded down to the zinc with um, the glue between it. I'd be pointless as glue idea. And that penny battery actually worked out quite well. I was surprised how well it worked. But anyway, this device uh, does work on that low, low power. And uh, I'm calling it Penny. And the thing about Penny, the reason that I, I really assembled this was I wanted a tool that I could try all kinds of sources out on easily that would work from a range of the microamp range all the way up to about 30 milliamps on about a volt, volt and a half. And this little device will handle it. And uh, this is what it sounds like. And I can, I can vary the frequency right here. And I, I can use this tool to gauge uh, how well these little batteries are holding up, these very small low power output batteries that I'm making. And Penny's going to be my tool for, for experimenting with that. And what Penny is, is she is a blocking oscillator circuit. A lot of people are calling these jewel thieves, and they are not jewel thieves. The jewel thief was a specific circuit built way back when around a toroid, ferrite toroid. Uh, this type of a coil arrangement is what's called a blocking oscillator. Look it up on Wikipedia, and it goes back way, way, way back to when they were using vacuum tubes. Um, it's a very simplistic circuit. This is a one transistor circuit. And everybody's calling these things all different kinds of things under the sun. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is a blocking oscillator. Some people call it a buck boost circuit. Uh, actually, Tesla came up with the idea way back when, uh, being able to boost uh, voltage up with the flyback on a coil collapse. And uh, that's what's going on here. But anyway, I, I made this so that you could uh, take this off and watch those things blink down. There's no power on this. And that's how efficient this is. This runs in the microamps at the low blink with no power on it, on that little tiny capacitor right there. That's about 100 microfarad. Now, I also made this so that you can take a regular AA battery with a couple of magnets on it and just stick it on there. And then uh, she works just like a regular little... Uh, what people call a jewel thief, but like I say, I, I think that's a misnomer. Um, they're, they're calling everything under the sun a jewel thief, and they're really not. So, anyway, that's a penny, and that's the latest thing that I created today, uh, just uh, for a tool to use, and uh, I'll probably use it on the boat too as a little light on the boat. Thanks for watching.